What's up guys? Welcome to WebSoak. I am your host, Alpha Dragon, and today we have a special for you guys. Today we have Canal Street on the east side of the lower Manhattan area of Manhattan. So you can see here I did go a little bit extra on this one, putting a few buildings here and there. Um, you can see very, very far many streets here. This area is uh, very close together and I uh, just wanted to put some buildings in because you know that gives the effect. So here we got uh, Broadway and this is quite the complex. So you've got about four platforms at this station. And I will just point out, you can't actually see, um, if you see that street over there, that's actually 6th Avenue. These streets here get very close together and yeah, it's uh, very compact here. So all the way over there is 6th Avenue. Things get very close, so let's head in. Here we have a RW entrance, but it's really labeled as all of them, but this I'd say is more for the RW, but also the NQ. So, here you go. Get your mine card here, enter over there, we'll go there later. Get the RW right here. So, Uptown and Queens. Uptown and Queens, baby, we got the R and W Uptown and Queens platform. Now here we got this section over here, you can see there's some bumpers in the middle where a additional set of tracks that is there for some reason cuts off. And over here you can see down the tunnel, um, I made the N and Q ramp up a little bit far from here so they're kind of close to the Prince Street where they ramp up so you can't really see it from here. But it does happen, you'll definitely see that in the N Q ride. Um, I also will point out, um, first off here we have the exit canal on Broadway. Um, I will point out, I did actually put uh, the graffiti that you can see on Google Maps. You can see right there, there is actually some graffiti on Google Maps there. So if Google Maps includes it, I have to include it. So here is the other end of the RW platform. Wooled off here, since I didn't get to City Hall yet. Uh, City Hall is currently being occupied by some riders at the time of this video, although that could have ended, but I think it's still going on. So Canal Street, head over here to the downtown and Brooklyn section over here. Head up to the other side of the RW, got the RW downtown and Brooklyn right over here, same thing. So I'm not going to show it off too much, but you can see your tunnel over there. I guess I'll just show off this side because it does have the uh, bumpers there. And the bumpers do look quite nice in the middle there. That's quite a unique thing to just see two bumpers just sitting in the middle tracks. Not sure what they're used for. I do know that they connect to the lower level of the abandoned city hall section at the R&W. But here you have Exit to Canal Street and Broadway. We can get up here. Got your two outward facing exits, one to Broadway and uh, one to whatever street this is. Crossing over here to the other side of the street. We've got some more entrances over here. You got two and I put buildings by these ones. You can see you exit to the buildings. The buildings are always nicer exits. I think it makes them look more realistic. You can see the uh, lovely entrance over there. Head down back to the other side, to the N Q platform, which is where we will begin making our way right now. So we head down here, beneath the RW platform, winding in. This one was very tight to build, I will say. Very uh, difficult to fit this one in. But instead of going on that staircase, we go on this staircase. And uh, lo and behold, behind this entrance, which you guys saw before. And what do you know? N and Q trains right here. This was the most bare platform, however I did uh, put these railings in as detail and you can see the curve under there. They go in right under there, right underneath the RW trains. So I'll just do this as to preserve FPS. As the FPS gradually deteriorates throughout the recording, an unsolvable academic at this point. So we can get up here to the 6 train which does live here. Uh, six trains will come over here uh, through this platform and go down to City Hall where they will terminate 
and on the other side, uptown six trains on this side, downtown four fives, uptown four fives. More exits over here. These ones are again angled, so you can come out here through these weird angled exits, or optionally cross the street. And you have these ones. Now these turnstiles are quite strange. I will admit that much. They are very weird um, because they are all corner turnstiles. Uh, four sets of them, to be exact. And we'll head over to the other side, but. You can see this platform, uh, not much to look at here, although with the middle tracks it is quite interesting, but the 4-5 will pass through there. Quite strange that they didn't stop here, but kind of makes sense. But yeah, they don't do that, even though this is a major transfer featuring service to the NQ. However, I kind of get it because, you know, they're uh, going... Where is the, the other staircase? Oh, it's right there. Okay. So I kind of get it because, you know, next stop, the Union Square, you got the N and Q anyway, so why would you transfer here? Unless, of course, you live at Prince Street, in which case you're screwed. So over here we have our exits. Other side of the six train platform, Canal Streets, Canal Streets to Palm Bay Park, four stops here at night, uptown to the Bronx. And we got our exits here to Canal Lafayette Streets. Exit up here, and you got this weird hill because I made the J2 shallow. You'll learn a little bit more about that in a moment soon enough. So we got Canal Street from J, N, Q, R, and 6 trains yet again. We can head down here. As the FBS begins to tank, we reach our final platform. We just simply cross over here. And J and Z trains right here. The J and Z train features an empty sign and a darker platform here. The J and Z in Manhattan are quite old, very old in fact, so old that they actually kind of look like the stations are destroyed or something. Very weird. Um, you can see the abandoned uh, J platform over there. Now, I did forget the history on this one, however, I know it does connect uh, down to Chambers Street and they go up there that way. Now I do not remember the reason that one was built. I do know Chambers Street though was meant to be like the 59th Street of Lower Manhattan and it was actually meant to have, it did used to have subways connect to the Brooklyn Bridge and uh, Manhattan Bridge but the load was too much for the bridges to bear so that service had to be cut. But you can see the platform still creepily sits there behind that wall. So now, if you didn't know that, every time you take the J series, there is a creepy platform behind the wall. And we can actually uh, go in there. Ooh, scary because it is actually 3 a.m. when I'm filming this video. Don't ask why I'm filming so late. I was doing other stuff filming. I have other stuff to film too, you know. i got to edit them stop motions. They're very brutal stuff. They take a long time to film. But, yeah. So we just uh, make sure there's no J trains coming and we run over here and climb up the end and back into the platform. Shh, don't tell anyone that we just went over there. Okay, so we'll make our way down to the center street exit. Down the very narrow J platform. Although, you know, all the platforms at the station are kind of narrow, but I like the station. This is one of my favorite stations you know once you reach canal street it's the entrance and exit of manhattan for many of these lines the n and q specifically and it does mark the point where the j is getting close to coming to an end as well as the rw going into the windy lower manhattan area but yes i will say this is the one entrance i did mess up um, I will not point out when it's messed up, but you probably know if you've been to the station quite often. So yeah guys, that is the Canal Street Special. Hope you guys enjoyed this subway station tour. I always have many more coming for you guys. There will be a stop motion uh, video coming out soon. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.